Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. What you got? The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now he, and I go to the, the, the description of Christ. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Who do you know on this earth today got woolly hair? You said not a lot of people? I know not a lot of people white hair. Woolly is just like a, uh, no, white is just a, uh, a color, right? Woolly is the texture. Right. Feel your hair. Touch your head right now. What type of hair is that? That's woolly. Right. right. You got woolly hair just like Christ. Really? Right. right. But they taught you what? They taught you that your hair is nappy. Right. That's why they always try to make a change out here. They try to tell it, put the perm in it. Right. Make your hair straight. They don't want you to love your own natural self. Right. Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh-huh. As white as snow. Boom. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now it's going to his eyes. Now if you drink, uh, the first milk will turn a water into wine, right? Now if you drink some wine or some strong drink, what the white part of your eyes are going to turn? No, the white part of your eyes is going to turn red. Right. Think about it. You ever seen like uh, somebody in your family, whenever they're drinking, the white part of their eyes turn red, right? Red again. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So you got to think about it. The scripture real plain for us. But we just never had somebody break it down for us. So he said his head and head were white like wool and his eyes as a flame of fire. But read on. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now if you kick your shoes off, wouldn't the top part of your feet be the same color as your body? It would be, right? So the top part of your feet the same color as your body, right? You, you agree? Bring it again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now he said his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Huh? It's like our skin tone, right? Bronze. It's a brownish color. Watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. It says as if you burn it in the furnace. Now you take that and you burn it. If you burn anything, what color is it going to come out to be? It's going to come out to be black. Right. So what color is Christ? Right. He's a black man. Yes, hey, right. say it loudly. You got to understand that. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Right. Why you don't think they want you to know that? They don't want you to know your history. Deuteronomy 76. This is what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know you're the best thing to ever walk this earth. Right. They want you to think that you're just an African American. They always want you to look up to them, not realize that you are better than them. Right. You got to understand that thing. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. One, this is the last scripture, all right? Give me numbers 15 and 38. Last scripture, all right? You good with that? You believe on Christ? All right, watch this. Numbers 15, 38. I'll make it quick for you, brother. And I'll make it easy to be understood. Most importantly. Watch this. 
the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel. So you just learned today that you are Israelite. And you said from the tribe of Judah, right? Is that what you pointed out on here? Judah? Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Fringes in the borders of their garments. So let me ask you this. Have you ever heard, perfect example, COVID-19, right? A lot of countries, a lot of islands, they're closing off their borders, right? What does that mean? What is a border? It's a divider, right? So let me ask you, is a border just in certain parts of Florida and then it skips the whole coastline on the east coast and then jumps up to certain parts of Georgia? Or is a border around the whole United States? The whole United States, right? That's what a border is. A border goes around, right? Read it again. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make the fringes and the borders of their garments. So you have to understand what the Bible is saying. The Bible says make fringes around your whole garment. Right. Around the borders, because it's a whole shirt, right? So it has to go all the way around your borders. Right. Read. Throughout their generations. For how long? Throughout their generations. We got to do that until now. Because we're still living on the earth. Right. Give me uh, Matthew 9 and 20. You said you believed on Christ, right? So if Christ did it, would you do it? Ah, uh, you hesitate, my brother. Let me ask you again. If Christ did it, would you do it? What do you mean you don't know? Do you follow Christ? Do you? Okay, you don't follow Christ, I assume. I believe that doesn't have anything to do with religion. It's either you believe or you don't. Right. So, you believe on Christ, right? All right. So, in order to believe on Christ, I know you didn't know this, you have to follow in his footsteps. All right. That's right. Watch this. The book of Matthew, chapter 9 and verse 20. Come on. And behold, a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood 12 years. It says, read it again. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood Come on. 12 years uh -huh. came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. And touched the what? And touched the hem of of his garment. The hem of Christ's garment. Read that. The Zonovan Bible Dictionary. Hem. Hem of a garment. Fringes or tassels. You see that? Fringes or tassels. Fringes or tassels. Now, remember, go back to the law. Go back to, actually, no, 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 no. Go to Mark 6 and 56. I'm going to deal with Christ. Remember the word border? That's the key. Because the Bible, first of all, it tells us to wear fringes, right? But then it tells us how to wear the fringes. Watch this. The book of Mark, chapter 6 and verse 56. Now you got to listen close, my brother. Watch this. And whithersoever he entered into villages or cities or countries, they laid the sick in the streets. Come on. And besought him that they might touch if it were but the border of his garment. The border of his garment. Remember, it said hem of his garment. A hem translates to what? Fringes or tassels. Then it said that he may touch the what? The border of his garment. Telling you what? That the fringes have to be worn how? All the way around. That saith the Lord. Give me that in um give me that in Revelation 7. You know what I want? The four corners of the earth. Last scripture. Last scripture, brother. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. You can be late for whatever you need to be late to. This is the most important thing you ever hear on the face of the earth, bro. Watch this, though. The book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 1. Watch this. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. Now, we know, watch this, I got to prove all things, Isaiah 40 and 22. Because I was just about to assume that you knew that the earth was round. I can't do that. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 22. Come on. It is he. That sitteth upon the circle of the earth. The what? The circle of the earth. The square. The circle of the earth. What shape is a circle? It's round, right? All right, go back to Revelation 7. Come on. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1. Ooh. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. The four corners of the earth. The earth technically would not have a corner because it's not a square. Bring it up. Squares and rectangles have corner, corners. The circle does not have any corners. But you understand what he's talking about. Standing around the earth. That's all it's going into. So, 
What are you going to do now? Now that you know that Christ wore fringes and the border all the way around, go back to Numbers the border, boo. Now that you know that Christ did that, what are you going to do? Yep. What is that now? Follow in his footsteps. Yep. All praises, brother. Last scripture, then you can tell where you need to go. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes and the borders of their garments. Uh -huh. Throughout their generation, right and that they put upon the border, uh, put upon the fringe of the borders, a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. It has to go around the whole border. Don't show up the hood. We used to scream "Black Power" while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.